Mark, he's such an important guy for us. You know, he's a, I call him, he's a connector. And uh, you remove him from the equation. I thought it took us part of the game. I thought we came out with good energy and all that, but it puts everybody in a different spot no matter what. And uh, I thought we missed him, but I thought our guys, it's, it's no excuses for us. It's next man up. And, uh, you know, give Georgia Tech credit. I thought they hit some really tough shots. I think some of them were on us, but also you got to give them credit. Uh, you know, that's the best they've shot the ball from three recently. I uh, thought they hit some really tough shots in the paint. And, and again, you got to give them credit, tip your hat to the shots that they made. Uh, but the, the biggest stretch to me was that second half, we got down 10. We subbed Jalen Blakeson, we subbed Ryan Young in, and they just, sometimes you got to make it happen, and especially in this building on the defensive end. And uh, I thought Jeremy and Flip in particular made some big plays. Jalen's block was huge. And uh, down the stretch, just found a way to win. And that's what it's all about in ACC play. And especially you're doing it without Jeremy. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know what happened to him exactly. I haven't seen the replay yet. I know we got to get him checked out in the next couple of days. And for Jeremy not to be in the game, uh, something, something happened there. So we'll, we'll get him checked out and take it step by step. But happy to answer any questions. I thought this was a really great win for us. Uh, to be able to fight through adversity, two of our starters were down. Uh, Georgia Tech was rolling. I think they're one of the more talented teams in our league. You know, um, you know those two freshmen, Dongo and, and Georgia, are really good. You know Reeves and Kelly and their talent ability. But uh, for us to beat them under these circumstances and the way they're playing, uh, very proud of our team. Yeah, yeah to be. Jeremy does so much for you guys. What did you learn about the team that they were able to play most of the last eight minutes? Yeah, I learned a lot. And, you know, the thing is, we've had, you know, uh, I've told you guys for a while, we have six starters and, you know, Ryan really being the seventh of always being able to step in there. And uh, that was the group that carried the way down the stretch. And, you know, you need somebody to step up. I thought Tyrese stepped up and hit some big shots for us. Uh, and then, you know, Jeremy goes out. I thought Flip just had a big time game. I know you didn't shoot the best percentage or whatever from two, but he's competing like crazy. Seven offensive rebounds, four assists, no turnovers, obviously the 30 points. Uh, but I learned a lot. You know, Caleb, Caleb and, and Jared for freshmen, they're just tough minded. You know, they're, they're, they're just tough minded and, and their stats don't jump off the page at you, uh, but they make winning plays. Uh, Caleb has four assists, no turnovers. I thought they had key stops. Uh, you always think Jared's going to hit one. You know, you just do, no matter what. And uh, I thought it was a, just a gutsy win down the stretch without Jeremy, without Mark. Just talking a little bit more about Young's contribution in the second half. He's making layups in the block in two plays. I think that's where his experience, you know, really pays off. And Ryan has been a guy for us the last year and a half. You just, you trust him out there. He's going to try to do the right thing. Uh, you know, he has four offensive rebounds. Uh, almost has a double double in 20 minutes, and you know I think for us we're trying to put. You always try to put your best players on the floor. That's something I've learned here a long time ago. And so we're playing four guards. We out rebounded them with four guards in the game in the first half, uh, but we just didn't have the rhythm offensively. And so we went big, and once we went big uh, with Ryan and flipping together, it was just too good. We had to we had to keep it rolling with that group. Was that more like the, the Tyrese that you saw toward the end of last year? Not just shooting the ball, but distributing and, and on the defensive end. Yeah, no question. I mean, look, for Tyrese, he's um, the, the injury. You're not 100% in the first game you come back. You know, there's some rust you have to work through. There's some shape. There's, you know, you can't work as much as you want to. And this week was probably the... Last couple of days, he got back to his, his work that he's been able to do. And for him, I think this is a lesson just to trust that work and it's going to come. And, you know, sometimes we've had, like, we had it rolling a little bit. And so he's coming back in and, you know, it's not like you're getting a million shots or whatever. I thought he just played defense. He rebounded. He had a personality. And the shots came with it. And, uh, you know, we needed him in a big way, that's for sure. I can't say. Yeah, he hasn't been able to do much. And so we'll take it step by step. Um, 
see how he's doing early this week, and we got to see how Jeremy's doing. And uh, I wish I could give you a better answer, but I don't even know uh, with these guys. Sounds like the seven. Second half come back good. Duke forced a lot of live ball turnovers and turned in points at the other end. It's a, it's like a very Duke thing to do. Can you talk about that that stretch a little bit? You know what? We we've gone back to that this year of being more disruptive, active hands on defense. I thought our pressure throughout uh, bothered them. I just thought they made some tough shots. And uh, I thought we got discouraged when they made a couple of those. You know, they banked one in in the first half. Uh, and I'll go back and watch for sure on film, but I thought they had some tough leaners, floaters, you know, in that second half in that paint area. Um, but for us, just the turnovers changed the game. And I thought a huge play was, you know, Jeremy got a loose ball. I can't remember exactly how he got it. Uh, flip, Jalen's block. And then down the stretch, we were in pick and roll, and Tyrese veered off to the big guy. And he fought in Dongo and uh, got a steal, which was a big play. And uh, really was kind of got, got us over the hump there. But that's something for us. I mean, look, we had four turnovers. They had 14. And uh, if you can win that turnover battle, that's, that's a big deal. Right. You know what? I, I don't know that Jeremy's getting the the national pub that he should. You know, and there's other players who have had great years, and I don't I don't I don't know numbers side by side, but the value for Jeremy on this team, you know, we don't we don't need him to score 25 points every night, but you know tonight he gets 18 points on 12 shots. And he doesn't even play the last what, what, whatever it was, six or seven minutes. But I, I, I think he's been as good as any guard in the country. He's been efficient. Uh, he's really taking care of the ball. He's getting after it on defense. He's been as good as anybody. And you know, he's played like a senior. And I'm just proud of him. He's made a jump. You want a guy like him to make a jump in a lot of areas. He's done that, really, in every way. The way he works, uh, his attitude, his... Uh, his leadership, just every way. And uh, he's been having a heck of a season. I just want to get him healthy or see what's going on and then keep keep building. John, the way uh, Ryan let Tyrese described how different this Duke team is from the first George Beck game to this George Beck game, night and day, how has that change happened? What is the biggest difference? Between just a month or so you know, um, when you... Our schedule was unique this year, the first eight games, because you're usually you're not playing on the road in conference so early. You know, we're playing for the first time in the SEC Challenge. We played the game against Arizona. You know, we always play Champions Classic. Uh, but, you know, you're playing some big-time games early, and I think more was brought to the light earlier for us. And so when that happens, you can either make excuses point the finger and you can say it's somebody else's fault or just an anomaly. You can say whatever you want, but there wasn't one person in the program that didn't take responsibility, me included, by the way. And I, I told the team in preparation for this game, I said, look, watching this back, I could have coached you better. You guys could have played better. We could have all done a lot better collectively. And we're just a different team. It was hard to take a lot away just because I felt we were so different. And uh, ironically, it's the two games Mark hasn't started and he didn't play in this game. But we're different besides that. And uh, to see the growth, uh, to see the mental makeup of the guys on this team, they have, they're tough. I'm talking mental toughness, not just the physical toughness on the court. And uh, I'm really proud of the growth we've made. And really since that game, I do think we've been a different team. Uh, after the other eight, we needed timeout in the second half. It looked like you guys uh, changed pick and roll coverages started bringing up Ryan to the level, yep. hedging a little bit, forced uh, two-foot turnovers. Um, what, what brought that on? Well, you know, we kept telling our guys not to overreact to some of the shots they were hitting, and they just kept hitting them. <laughs> so at, at, a, at a certain point, you know, you have to, all right, this is the way it's going to go today. You have to make an adjustment. And, and the staff's always great thinking about what can we do. And uh, we decided to blitz them. And, uh, you know, Kelly had it going and just to give him a different look. And that's been something that has
has been beneficial for us, not playing the same way throughout the whole course of a game, but just, just to change it, just to give them a different look. And then they kept putting in different lineups. You know, they have some lineups where they have four shooters in when Coleman's at the – they have four guards, Coleman being the fourth. And they'll play some lineups where, you know, they'll have two big guys in. So it changes what you can do. And uh, I thought our guys did a good job on the fly. We tried switching some. They got the one post for, uh, for Dongo. Uh, and then when they went small, we tried to just stay at home a little bit more. But uh, that was a great adjustment by the staff, good suggestion. And uh, I thought threw them off for a couple possessions. Hey, Coach, congrats on the win. The guards really finished out strong in that game. Um, Roach, Proctor, uh, and McCain all came up with late game steals. Um, why is it great to have tough guards that can create offense but also lock up, especially when they game on the line? You have to be a two-way player. You know, in this, you can't be just one way. You need to get, <laughs> in this kind of game, you need to score and you need to get stops. And all those guys are wired that way. They're winners. They're, they're here for a reason. And um, I have complete confidence in all those guys. And, you know, I'll, I'll just say this. And, uh, you know, to be back in Cameron, it's been a minute since we've been back in Cameron. And uh, to see the crowd the way that it was, to have our students back in there, uh, I thought at one point it got, I mean, I don't know about for you all, but I thought it was loud as could be in there. And, you know, a Saturday afternoon in Cameron, for me, those are some of the most special games you can play in, that you can coach in. And uh, it's a credit to all the people that work incredibly hard to make this the most special place. Our students, they're, I walked in this morning at early. I had a hard time sleeping. And uh, I walked in and people, students were already tending out you know, for, uh, for the game this afternoon. And so to me, it's the most special thing in the world. And uh, we have to do it again next Saturday. So anyway, have a great week. Thank you.